What's up, guys? It's Mike Frank with Berkshire Hathaway, Frank Oliver and Company, coming to you today to talk a little bit about value of a home. I know it should come as no surprise, but the best way to find a great value of your home is to hire the right real estate agent to do the job. By the way, the value is going to change depending on whether or not you're looking for a refinance or a purchase. It's going to change based on what you're looking for to do in your purchase. I mean, for example, if you're doing a 203k renovation, the value is going to be slightly different than if you're doing a streamlined or a straightforward uh, purchase loan. So talk to your mortgage lender as well, but ultimately get a real estate agent that's going to give you a real value on the home. So what goes into a value, right? And the first thing that people need to understand is that we use this term called comp, right? Well, give me the comps, show me the comps. Well, there's a lot of different considerations for comps and we've talked about that in other episodes but today we're going to talk about comparable market analysis a cma as we call it so a cma is proposed of a lot of different values of the home basically taking into consideration the condition of the property the exterior the interior the size the space and the way it looks ultimately um, we're going to create a value of the home based on those factors a cma is going to be able to give you a good value of what the home will likely sell for and a good agent should be able to understand and articulate what that cma means to you. So in today's market, you might have a comparable market of value that just says that your house is worth 525,000, but we might feel extra confident that we could get a little bit more, or we might want to back off a little bit and understand the way that buyers are, are responding to the market and the way the CMA is going to impact our marketing analysis. It's going to be a big factor, but it's not the only factor to figuring out how we should price and can sell your house. A CMA is going to be something that's somewhat of a puzzle. We're going to pull together lots of different factors. And we have things written down here talking about interior features, exterior features. We've got uh, basements and non-basements for those of you that are coming from the South. Um, square footage is a huge value for our CMA. It's going to be one of the foundations of how we identify the homes that we're going to compare to. We're going to figure out what is the square footage of your home, 1,700, 17,000. We're going to figure out what other homes have like size square foot. So what we're looking for is like in kind, as they would say. We're going to talk about things like bedrooms and bathrooms but not exclusively bedrooms, right? There might be a room that's used as a bedroom that's better fit for a den, but ultimately the square footage is gonna calculate and add that in. We're gonna be talking about things like sunrooms and other spaces, additional rooms that you can utilize in the value of your home. And obviously the big spaces are things like basements and kitchens and garages, things that are gonna show off a big value difference. So what's the difference between two different kitchens, people might wonder? Well, the one thing to consider is the materials and the condition of your kitchen is going to have a big impact on the ultimate value. Obviously, a, condition, a kitchen is a kitchen is a kitchen, but a kitchen in a million dollar home might be expected to have different materials and different value than a kitchen in, let's just say, a $300,000 home. And similarly, if you put down a $20,000 countertop in a $300,000 home, you're probably not going to see the return on your investment there, but it is going to play into value slightly. Now, understand that a buyer's opinion of value and a market evaluation and an appraiser's opinion of value are going to be three different things, but just understand that when we're giving value to a kitchen, we are looking at materials, but it's not dollar for dollar what you invested. There are rates of returns, and we're going to talk about those too, but let's go to basements. For those of you that don't know what a basement is, like my new client, Haley, you're going to learn basements are comprised of many different things. You've got unfinished basements, you've got crawl spaces, you've got finished basements, fully finished, partially finished, walkout basements, and all of these different things are going to bring different value to the home. Obviously, having a basement is some level of value, but if all you can use it for is storage, the value is going to be a little bit more subdued as compared to a walkout basement with a full bar, a bedroom, and a bathroom down there. So we're going to keep in, in mind the consideration of a fully finished basement is going to add value to our home. Then we get into things like flooring and wall coverings and uh, amenities like ceiling fans and other sort of uh, finishes, if you will, that are going to change the value of your home and going to raise and lower according to condition as well. So marketability as well as condition. And then you go to the exterior. We're going to talk about things like siding and roofing and windows and doors. And all of these things have a lot of value. But understand that, again, a $100,000 siding probably makes sense on a million or a $2 million house. Probably doesn't make sense to put that same siding on a $200,000 house. So we're going to be putting a little bit of value based on the condition in the community. But the big things that are going to make a big impact on the exterior of your home are things like your roof. Roofer puts on a new roof, you want to provide that receipt, that verification to your agent, you want to give that to the appraiser so they give you a valuation as if the roof is new. 
if they're not giving you a receipt, they're not giving you a valuation, we're just looking up there and wondering, is that about 20 years old or maybe 25, you know, based on the condition of it. When we see it up there, what does it look like? And ultimately that's gonna have a big impact. If we think that your roof is 10 years old, but it's actually brand new last winter, that's gonna have a big impact on the value of your home. When you have a full condition roof, you have a lot of things that you can uh, stray away from. So uh, hazards and concerns, your home insurance company is gonna wanna know about these things. So a roof can be a big value. Another big value on the exterior of a home is fencing. Fencing is a huge value because so many people want to bring dogs and animals and kids, not that dogs and kids should be fenced in in the same way, but I guess logically fencing keeps them all safe equally and people are willing to pay more money for it. So there's value that we add for a fenced in yard. There's value that we add in for a privacy fence at six feet tall versus a three foot tall chain link fence. Going to be a little bit different, but ultimately that's a big value that not every home will have. And the final big value is going to be your parking or your garage. And even if you don't have a garage, having that extra parking space, whether it's a small little bump out in your driveway or otherwise, is going to actually add a substantial amount of value. You'd be surprised what an appraiser is going to see in their value when it comes to parking. And you'll note that an appraiser might see value, but a buyer might not. So a CMA is a market analysis. It's an evaluation of what we think the house is gonna sell for. And ultimately, what we wanna do is we wanna use that as a marketing tool to get your home sold for the highest dollar. Next week, we're gonna talk about a little bit more of features and condition as well as location and how that can affect your CMA. But we'll talk to you guys real soon and we thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, PM, DM, or subscribe to the link below and we'll talk to you real soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for weekly content. Also, check out our social media pages. The links are in the description below. See you next week.